Blue Jackets, it's registration time again, the time when we sign up for classes for next year. We need time to plan for our next year's building schedule, so it's important that students pick the classes they're going to be taking next year now. The core subjects are subject areas that every student will experience throughout their years at Hibbing High School, and that includes English, Math, Social Studies, and Science. English 8 is our language arts class and consists of vocabulary, reading, writing, and grammar. Algebra 8 continues to build upon the math foundations you've been building in Math 7 with algebra, geometry, and rational numbers. Those in Honors Math 7 will continue with Honors Algebra 8, uh, moving beyond arithmetic. It will continue to challenge you but prepare you for future advanced classes. Science 8 covers basic concepts of the chemical and physical natures of matter. And Social 8 covers American history with major events and important people and historic themes throughout the 20th century. Sub elective subjects are the subjects that fall outside of the core subject areas. For 8th graders, those classes are Art 8, Shop 8, FIAD 8, and either Music or Facts 8. This area also includes Reach and Theater, although they are not required for 8th graders to take. Art 8 focuses on the elements and principles of art and design, developing creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking skills. Shop 8 is an exploratory course in industrial technology. Students will learn and work with tools while also creating small projects. Physical Education 8 consists of a variety of fitness activities, individual sports, and team sports. Students also participate in three weeks of swimming. The required elective choice offered to 8th graders is between Band 8, Choir 8, or Fax 8. Students must choose one of these three options. If you're currently in Band 7, I strongly encourage you to continue to develop that talent. The high school band has a long tradition and is a source of pride for our school and community. There are great opportunities to play in concerts, pet band, marching band, and more. And I have yet to meet anyone who regrets learning to play an instrument. Choir 8 is for those who enjoy singing, both with individual lessons and group choral performance. As with band, our choirs are a source of pride and are considered among the best in the region. Our choir students have traveled the country and performed in places ranging from California to New York, and our local concerts can sell out the auditorium. If you are not in choir this year, you can still join the choir for next year. And for those students who have, do not have an affinity towards music, you can register for Fax 8. Fax 8 is a continuation of the Fax 7 course and includes both sewing and cooking units as well as general life skills. Students can register for both band and choir. This would be taking band all year and having one semester of choir and having one semester of study hall. Additionally, for those who are interested in the performing arts, we do have an option for theater. Theater is a semester class that would be available to students in exchange for a semester of study hall. Reach is a class designed to help students who may be interested in building skills of personal development, such as social skills, problem solving, and emotional development. This class would also take the place of a study hall. Every student not in REACH, theater, or both band and choir will have a study hall or a resource period. This is a dedicated time in the school day for schoolwork completion. And eighth graders will have homework daily, so having time built into the school day is a great benefit. Students on an IEP the student's case manager will work with the high school staff to make an appropriate schedule and ensure that the individual student's needs are met. The school year has four quarters and the year is divided into two halves, each called semesters. And just like seventh grade, all core subjects in eighth grade are year-long classes. Students earn a grade in each quarter and at the end of the year, the final grade is an average of the total points across all four quarters. Elective classes are each a semester long, meaning students only have them for half the year. As you can see with this sample schedule, core subjects appear all year and elective subjects are only a semester long each. Their on only exception to this is band, which currently rotates with FIED. There are two days a week students have band and three days a week they have FIED. This flips at each quarter, so by the end of the year, each student will have had the same number of days in Band 8 as they have had in Phi Ed 8. This is the registration sheet, and you can find it on Schoology. It is just a visual guide. You do not have to turn it in. Please discuss your class registration with someone from home before you complete the registration process. It is important that your parent or guardian knows what classes you're going to be taking next year, even those that you don't have a choice in. 
When you are ready to register for your classes for next year, you cannot use the PowerSchool app. Registration only works from a web browser. So on your computer or iPad, use a web browser to get to the Hibbing High School website. Once there, click or tap on Grades and Attendance. The login portal of PowerSchool will be there. Use your student login information to log in. Next, from the menu on the side, find and select Class Registration. You should now see this screen. As you notice, on the top row, most courses have already been pre-selected for you. Below that row is the choice selection for math. On the right side of the row, you will see a red exclamation point. Click and tap on it. The selection window will pop up. Here you will click or tap on the course of your choice. The selection will turn blue and the box in front will be checked. Now, click or tap on the OK button. You will now see your math course selection appears, and the red exclamation point is a green check mark. Next, go down to the required elective choice row and the red exclamation point. Go ahead and click or tap on that, and the next selection window will pop up. Mark your selection so it highlights blue, and then hit OK. You will now see your selection appears and the red exclamation point is again a green check mark. The non-required elective options can be found in the next section. This is where you can select REACH or Theater courses. If you are interested in taking either of these courses, tap on the green check mark to bring up the selection window. You can now select the courses you wish and hit OK. If you do not wish to sign up for these courses, you can leave this section blank. Now you're ready to submit your choices. Hit the Submit button on the bottom right of the screen. After you hit Submit, you should see a list of what you signed up for, and you're ready to log off. If you have questions, you can contact me with Schoology or through school email. And finally, finish this year strong. Continue to show up every day, participate in class, do your homework and turn it in, every assignment, every day, because every point counts. Give your best effort and continue to keep a positive attitude. Thank you for completing your registration for the 2022-2023 school year.